What up, what up all you Clashers out there? This is Galaxis, and uh, what we're doing right now is about to work on some expert dungeons. Uh, this is going to be using substitutions instead of using Dracula and Santa Boom. We're going to be using Mortep and Grizzly Reaper. So just double check, make sure we got everything there. Almost got that magic leveled up again. So, uh, you know, this, what you see, I've already beaten it with the, uh, with the regular hero, Santa Boom, Vlad Dracula. And now we're going to try and go through. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing real soon is putting up, uh, you know, doing this on an account that doesn't have Punk and Duke at all. So that's what we're going to be doing soon. But uh, let's see how we can get through this and uh, how much different it's going to be than uh, what the other one was when we had Santa Boom and Vlad Dracula in. So you see we're sort of taking a lot of aggro there, get our restoration in and just sort of let them go to work. Now I got a feeling since we already know that there's a bomb field down there, we're probably going to lose some more guys this time. So we got Punkin out there. I watch him. And there's Grizzly and Amortep going down into the bomb field. So they're, they're going to probably eat the bombs. So yeah, we only lost Amortep that time. And, you know, Grizzly is a floater, so stuff didn't affect him. And that actually worked out pretty good. Because that is a serious bomb path, we know, right there. you got to watch for that. But there's not much you can do about it because you really want to spawn right there in the middle. Or, you know, drop your guys right there in the middle. So there's one set of gems. See how much gems it's going to cost to do this. Uh, that would that would just be wait time if you don't want to spend the gems, but you know We're gonna spend the gems because we're just trying to do this got to go out and get some gold guys Let's Switch our heroes real quick. We got to go get a little bit of gold because uh, We want to have gold for magic and Don't want to run out and have to go out without any magic at all So let's do it right now while we at least got this and this guy has a whole bunch of gold Half a million that is a lot for these accounts I mean, dude goes ham on his gold storage, man, for real. Gold and mana. This is pretty awesome. This should just take a couple seconds and, uh, whoa. Yeah, we're starting to lose people there, but we got most of the gold. Well, at least, yeah, the majority of it. We had to get out of there, man. We're starting to get ready to lose people. And, hey, I got a couple gems back because I think we're going to have to gem back some heroes. So... That's all good. Okay, so let's switch these guys out. Get our Vlad out of there. Get Santa out. Put a Mortep in. And uh, Grizzly Reaper in there. We do have also Orcs Bane that we can work on and bring up. But uh, for this, i just been going ahead and working with the Grizzly Reaper and the Mortep. Let's see here. So we could drop them over here by these heroes. But they're pretty weak, so I'm not really too worried about them. Probably be best to drop it over here and uh, let Punk and Duke go ahead and get stacked up. Let those Griffins start attacking him. Let those Towers attack him. And uh, then we'll drop down our Guardian Angel. When it's starting to look a little bit crazy, we can drop that down to help him. But uh, this is going to help him start stacking up his procs. And sometimes it's going to be really beneficial for you to do that. If you got your Punk and Duke out there, you know, get him down first. Get the restoration around him. And you see he moved right out of that circle. It probably would have been better to put it a little, little bit closer to the, the outer wall over there. Because he would have stayed in it a little bit longer. Because now, looks like we're going to lose him for sure. But uh, it'd be nice if we can complete this. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and pay the 10 gems to gem him back. But uh, really be awesome if we can at least get the three flames out of it, man. Because it sort of sucks when you have to spend gems. And you don't get a completion but there we go we got one flame so I mean worst case scenario we could just you know move forward if necessary as long as you get one flame you can go forward so don't trip too hard as long as you can get that far then you can always come back and try and get a better score on that one but you see our grizzly is taking a lot of aggro looks like we may possibly lose him just slow going and you can tell I mean you know as far as Vlad Dracula out there he cleans stuff up Vlad and Santa Boom uh, would have had this cleared up right away and you know we'd already be on to the next one so one thing to note is it is going to take you more time 
it's taking a lot more time to get this stuff knocked out and uh, you know just get on to the next the next stage because uh, you know, this stuff is taking quite a long time. And more tip. We, we're working on leveling him up, but he's going to probably need to be leveled up at least, uh, you know, to get him at 140 with everybody else. Because it just takes way too long to be able to get this stuff knocked out. And we're finally starting to move past. A couple more blows on that tower and we're good to go. Hopefully we don't lose a more tip. Okay, we got, got a more tip healed because it was looking a little bit scary there. Okay, all right, so we got 100, got 100%, got the three flames, picked up 20 shards, lost our pumpkin duke, so we're going to have to go ahead and gym him back real quick. So there's that, and now we got our pumpkin duke. We can go ahead and get our magic and we'll go right back in and try and get another one of these knocked out. So we're getting really close to being able to get to the end. And at the end, there's a boss that we have to fight. So I'm not sure how that's going to go. Uh, you know, without having Santa Boom and Vlad Dracula, it's probably going to be a lot more difficult to be able to beat that boss uh, at the end of three. Let's see, in fact, I think we might have skipped one. Just double checking here. Yeah, because we hadn't done this one yet. All right, so with this one, we want to drop our um, heroes down there by the troops over there. And that's going to help us to get going, you know, help our punk dude to get procking. So I always like to drop him in first, unless necessary. But right there, there is a serious, um, you know, serious bomb field right there. So got to be real careful. We've seen that before when I uh, did this last time. There is a bomb field all in there. So got to be careful with your guys there. But, uh. Everybody looks like they went a whole other direction. Just trying to watch, make sure these guys give them a little bit of protection. And uh, Mortep is actually getting pretty low on health. See if we can help him out a little bit. So it's just a whole different, I mean, if, you, if you've seen, uh, if you watch the other video that I did without the substitutions, uh, you can see that the, the time that this is taking us a lot more. I mean, it's much more involved with, without Vlad, Dracula, and Santa Boom. And I mean, obviously, we know that. But, uh, you know, this is this is definitely taking a lot longer than, than the, you know, doing it without these heroes. So, something to keep in mind. It may take you a lot longer. But you can do it, man. You can get through it. Here we got one flame. Almost to two flames. We're about to lose our Mortep, and then it looks like Punkin Duke is really close too. Okay, Mortep is sitting there with no health. Yeah, we, we lost him. He his health bar was basically invisible. Didn't see it at all. So we'll have to jam him back and let's see if Punkin can make it. Okay. So that's a more tip. We're gonna have to jam him back, but that wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. Now it's gonna start getting crazy. We're on the last couple, and um, you know I could tell you that it's about to be pretty crazy. You got, uh, we just don't have a lot of power to be able to make it through this stuff. So pretty crazy. We can drop our guys in right here. We'll put our pumpkin duke down. We'll get our uh, guardian angel down in there real quick, and we'll just see how that can go, man. See if we can get them going. Now, by now, um, you know, Vlad would have just spun up and got that whole area wiped out. But without Vlad, we sort of had a bit of a different response. Now, Mortep isn't doing too bad, though, taking out these walls and making it through. So, overall, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you know, it's actually going a lot faster than the, the dungeon before this because there's so many walls and... Just everything is so close together. So, you know, it's blowing through it really quick. So that's all to the good. So now we'll be ready to go on and try and battle that boss, which is going to be insane. Trying to beat him without 
uh, you know, the strength, the attack of Flat Dracula, Santa Boom, slowing him down, man, it's going to really be hard. But uh, we're prepared, and I have some gems, so if we have to, we'll just keep on spinning gems until we can get something decent. We need to at least get, uh, you know, two flames, or at least one, I mean, to be able to go forward, but if we can't beat it, we'll accept enough to move forward. So let's go ahead and get on in. Um, give these guys a scratch. I need to work on the inscription levels on these guys too. That's one thing that we haven't really looked at. I need to get their inscription level up because that's going to really help them to be able to take a lot more damage. So I have to work on that and then we'll sort of showcase and talk about what the, uh, you know, the, what the difference is in the levels there. Okay, so here we go. We can go ahead and drop them on in. Uh, we're going to try and drop them as close as possible so we don't end up you know, having our, our guys go over and try and do the battle with the troops. And that's exactly what happened right there. They turned around, started fighting with the troops. Yeah, that's not going to work. So we'll go ahead and we'll try again. That was a little bit crazy, man. Didn't, uh, didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. Going to have to watch out. Just get him really close, close as possible to the guy there. Let's go ahead and drop him on like right on that corner. Yeah, there. Everybody was facing the right direction. You can tell if they if they're going the wrong direction, then you know it starts to go bad pretty quick. So this is a head-on. We're doing pretty good, taking his life down, but we're losing people really, really quick. Oh man, we had him so close. I should have just went ahead and kept going. Should have kept going. We but uh, we wouldn't have been able to get the rest of it. You know, if, if even if we killed that boss, we wouldn't have been able to kill everything else without the rest of the guys. So, got to spend a few gems and get these guys back, man. That's 30 gems that we had to spend right there. But uh, let's go ahead and get back in there. See if we can make it happen. Now, um, you know, one of the things we could do is try and, you know, go along the outside. Maybe we can land over on the side and uh you know get everything going and then everybody can come in and attack them that way too that's one thing we could do just gonna try this side real quick and see if there's any difference some pumpkin is just taking all the aggro out there and we're starting to lose starting to lose our legends so and we didn't get his health down very much. Okay, um, yeah, that's it is getting crucial. You can see it's definitely not going to be easy to beat this boss, man, for sure. At this level, we're going to need to probably bring these levels up a little bit, but uh, we'll give it a couple more shots. Got that heavy blow on uh, Immortep. I have to gym these guys back, man. I hate to spend gems like that, but. You know, for the sake of the video, go ahead and do that. And yeah, we're almost out of gold, so we're gonna have to do some substitutions real quick and just go out and do a few raids in order to get enough gold. That way we can keep going. All right, so now we got enough gold. Let's go ahead and get back in there and try and beat this boss, man. This boss has just been beating up the whole squad. And uh, so far, I've spent like 75 gems or something, man, just trying to beat this dude, so. It's costing me, man. It's hurting me. Actually, let me go ahead and didn't have any magic. Yeah, man. It's uh, spending those extra gems. I don't like to do that, but I, I just want to keep this video going and I want to be able to do it all at once. So, you know, show you guys what you can do. Let's go ahead and we're going to put our pumpkin out here. We'll get him procking with the um, all of those heroes there. I mean, all those troops going to be attacking him. Get him procking up real quick. And we'll just drop our guys in here. Get everything going. Actually, you know, we have Santa Boom and Vlad Dracula out there. That's not our substitution team. And uh, you can see how easy everything's going. But no, that's not the right team. Let's get Vlad out of there. Let's put a Mortep in there and uh, take Santa out and put Grizzly Reaper in. And you can see it was already starting to go way too smooth. Like, nah, man, it's not going to go that easy. 
Let's go back in there again and try this again, man. So uh, I don't know. I was trying to put the pumpkin out there, sort of see if I can get his, you know, his proc stacked up. I don't know if that was really very effective. I was actually starting to lose him, but try this again. Go ahead and put the puck in there, get him procking, and uh, get our guys down here, and then we'll use our uh, restoration over there on Punkin' Doom. Uh, it's actually, we were getting ready to lose him, so I just went ahead and I didn't want to take the risk on that. So let's go ahead, get some more, get some more gold, and go back in here and try this again, man. So as you can see, it's definitely not as easy as just coming in there and you know, crushing them real quick with Santa Boom and Vlad Dracula on your team. With the Mortep and Grizzly Reaper in their place, it's taking a lot more, man. It's taking a lot more strategy. So I'm thinking maybe we go outside. The outside here, we can at least wipe out all of this stuff. And, uh, you know, at the very least, we can get like two flames just by doing this alone. So, I mean, in a, in a situation where you're not going to really be able to take that guy down um, and you're really trying to get past it, that might be an option for you. You know, just take that route, get a couple flames, and come back and beat him when you're a little bit stronger. And so far, I've spent like 75 or 85 gems or something like that. I haven't been keeping complete track, but you know, I know I've been gemming back some heroes, and uh, I don't see any end to it. I'm sure that uh, you know we're gonna probably end up having the same situation. So. Like I'm saying, this is a quick way to get two flames. See, I got the two flames right there. And just put the Guardian on them and see if we can keep them going this way. Without the Frenzy right there on them, though, that is going to cause them, you know, to go a little bit slower. And uh, he's able to stun everybody in, so it's not doing too good. He's already starting to take people out. Keep it is down. Druid is down. Pumpkin is down. Yeah, and he's taking everybody out. Okay, so... Yeah, that didn't work, and we didn't even get him over 50% health, so. But we do have two flames. So, I mean, you know, that's it's probably going to have to work. We can try maybe one more time. Let's jam back these heroes. Try this one more time. Losing all these gems, man. I'm not happy about that, but I really want to see if we can do it with this crew without having to work on them. Probably going to need to make them a little bit stronger before we're able to take that guy down and uh, maybe even work on some crest sets or something like that to make them stronger I'm thinking let's just do the same thing we'll go along here uh, just work the outside and then maybe this time instead of putting the magic down I'll just go ahead and put our guys out and I'll keep the magic and we'll try it like that we'll see if we, we can maybe uh, have the magic when we go in there in the middle with them and that might give us an upper hand advantage. So, so we're not having too much of a problem there. Druid is actually taking a lot of aggro. You'll see his health sort of just drop dramatically and then he'll go back up. So we're getting ready. And uh, as soon as they come in, we're going to drop our uh, frenzy in there. We're going to drop or a yeah, guardian angel there. And then we'll just hold out until we have to, and then we'll put the restoration down. Unless these guys start killing the pumpkin duke over there. So yeah, that sort of screwed my plans up. But I saw pumpkin duke was getting ready to die, man. I didn't want to lose him, sort of ruin everything. As soon as they break through this wall here, everybody should come rushing, and we'll go ahead and get our guardian angel down, and then we'll put the frenzy down, and we're gonna see if that get some going enough to be able to kill this guy got our 55 percent and pumpkin ran out on the side man he wasn't supposed to do that so that sort of screwed everything up we're starting to lose people again yeah that's that's gonna be it so uh that's two flames and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it helped somebody uh make sure that you like and subscribe and just keep on grinding y'all until next time galaxis out